Hello young scientists! Are you ready for another exciting discovery in science? So today we'll explore a brand new lesson that will help us understand more about the amazing world around us. So open your mind, stay curious, and get ready to learn something fun and fascinating together. So now let's begin our scientific adventure. For this episode, we're going to talk about non-contact forces. So this will be your topic for quarter three, week three of your science grade five. So let's get started. We have here your learning competency. The learners identify gravity as non-contact force that affects the behaviors of materials and objects on earth and objects on earth in predictable ways. The learners will be able to differentiate contact forces from non-contact forces and identify forces in nature that are classified as non-contact forces. For day one, let's have a crossword puzzle as our form of review. So, you're going to guess the word based on the clues in the puzzle below. Words can go across or down. Letters are shared when the words intersect. Okay, so can you guess the words for across? And here are the clues for the words going down. Okay. So we have here our answer key. All right. Okay, so for our first um, activity, you're going to have our, your KWL chart about non-contact forces. So last week, we learned all about contact forces, the kind of forces that happen when two objects touch each other, like pushing, pulling, or friction. But this week, we're going to explore something new and exciting, non-contact forces. So these are forces that can make things move even without touching them. Amazing, right? Okay, so before we start, I want you to take a look at the KWL chart on your paper. In the first column, write down what you already know about non-contact forces. In the second column, write what you want to know or what you're curious about. Don't worry about the last column yet. We'll go back to it at the end of our lesson to fill in what you've learned about non-contact forces. So are you ready? Let's begin our new science adventure and discover how forces can act even from a distance. So now let's unlock our content area vocabulary. You're going to match the definitions in column B to the correct term in column A. So this is the physical property of matter that causes it to experience a force when placed in an electromagnetic field. Number two, neutral or have a balance of charge equal numbers of protons and electrons. Three, an area in which particular force exists and can be felt. And number four, have an imbalance of charge, either more negative electrons than positive protons or vice versa. For letter, uh, for number one, physical property of matter that causes it to experience a force when placed in an in electromagnetic field. So the correct answer is charge. Letter B. For number two, neutral or have a balance of charge equal numbers of protons and electrons. We call that uncharged body. Number three, an area in which a particular force exists and can be felt, it's force field. And number four, have an imbalance of charge, either more negative electrons than positive protons or vice versa. It's charged body. Okay, so now let's have our first subtopic and it is about um, contact force versus non-contact force so last time we learned that contact forces happen when two objects touch each other so for example when you push a chair pull a door or when your shoes rub against the ground those are all contact forces because there is physical contact between the objects now let's talk about non uh, contact forces these are the kinds of forces that can make objects move stop or change direction without touching them isn't that interesting so think about how a magnet can pull a paper clip even it's not 
uh, it's not touching it or how gravity pulls things down to the ground so those are examples of non-contact forces so forces can be grouped into two main types contact forces and non-contact forces so both can be uh, both can cause objects to move stop or change direction but they work in different ways so what is the difference between contact force and non-contact force okay so contact force happen when two objects physically touch each other this include pushing pulling or friction between surfaces so for example when you push a door open kick a ball or when your shoes rub against the ground as you walk all of this involve direct contact the force is transferred because the objects are touching so typically kapag tinulak mo yung pinto kapag hinila mo yung isang bagay o kapag naman yung ating sapatos ay uh, dumadampi no or lumalapat doon sa uh, sahig o kaya sa kalsada nagkakaroon doon ng contact force dahil nagkakaroon ng uh, kumbaga nahawakan mo yung mismong pintuan na tinutulak mo o kaya naman hinihila mo yung halimbawa yung tali no nandoon yung direct contact doon sa isang bagay na kung saan yun yung tinatawag nating contact force Okay, so now this time, let's talk about non-contact force. So, non-contact forces are forces that exist between two objects that are not physically touching. Kung yung contact force ay may direct contact, yung dalawang object, non-contact force, walang contact between two objects. So, that are not physically touching. Hindi sila nagkakaroon ng physical contact. It is also known as action at a distance. Non-contact forces have a force field within which they act. Beyond their force field, they can no longer have an effect. So, that is non-contact force. So, based on our example in the picture, kung makikita natin, nalaglag no yung apple mula doon sa sanga okay so nagkaroon ng movement pero walang uh, contact na nangyari between for example yung paglaglag ng um, ng apple no mula doon sa branch so for day 2 okay let's have a word example so you can watch and access the video on YouTube using the link or QR code provided below. So, you can definitely uh, watch another video so that you can uh, understand more, okay, what non-contact force is. So, we have the part one. This is part one of non-contact force. And of course, we also have our part two. So, we're in based on, um, you can access again this video. You can scan the QR code and you can also search for the link okay so now based on the video and the discussion you're going to summarize what you have learned about non-contact forces using the Friar model diagram below so here it is okay so what is non-contact force what is the definition what are its characteristics? What are the examples and non-examples? So to simplify, we have here uh, possible answers. So definition, uh, non-contact forces are forces that exist between two objects that are not physical or does not have a physical contact. So facts or characteristics, it act within their force field, cannot act anymore beyond their force field. Examples of non-contact forces, friction, normal force. Okay. Okay. These are the example of um, contact forces. Friction, normal force, tension, and applied force. And then the other one, these are the examples of non-contact forces. Gravity, magnetic force, and electrostatic force. Okay. 
So another activity is write in if your answer is non-contact force and see if it is a contact force. So number one, water flows downward when we open uh, the faucet. So that is a non-contact force. Number two, a rubbed balloon attracts the hair of a girl. That is also a non-contact force. Okay, number three, a ball rolling on the ground slows down and eventually stops. So that is contact force. A boy throws a bottle into the bin for recyclables. So that is contact force. And this table supports the books. So that is also contact force. Okay, number six, a basketball falls to the ground. Non-contact force. Magnetic attracts the paper clips near it. Non-contact force. And the handle of a bag supports its weight. So that is non-contact force. Alright, so now which situations involve non-contact forces and uh, why are the forces in these situations classified as non-contact? And then when do non-contact forces affect the objects? Okay, so for D3, let's have the types of non-contact force. Okay, so first let's have the gravitational force. The force of attraction between the sun and the earth, it is also known as gravity. It is the force of attraction between the earth and any object on its surface. Kumbaga, coming from the center of the earth, ito yung nagpupul no, sa atin. Kaya hindi tayo palutang-lutang dito sa earth. Unlike kapag lumabas tayo sa earth, like the astronauts na yung nakikita nyo sa mga videos, di ba kapag sila ay nasa outer space, sila ay lumulutang kasi walang gravity doon. Pero here on Earth, iba yung center of the gravity ay eh, nagpupul sa atin. That's why tayo ay hindi lumulutang at tayo ay nakakapaglakad ng maayos. So because of uh, the friction and yun nga, kapag may binato tayo, something, no, when we throw something, it falls down. ba Hindi tayo kapag nagbato, nananatili siyang lumulutang sa ere. ba Hindi katulad dun sa outer space. Kahit na ilagay nila yung baso, anywhere, hindi yon babagsak. Pero kapag dito sa Earth, kapag binitawan mo yung baso at wala namang sasalo doon, anong mangyayari dun sa baso kapag binitawan natin? So, babagsak siya. Hindi naman siya lulutang at magsistay doon. So, that is the gravitational force. Next, we have the electrostatic force. This is the force exerted by our charged body on a charged or uncharged body. Electrostatic forces between opposite charges will lead to attraction while forces between similar charges will lead to repulsion. Diba nga? Opposite attracts. Pero kapag uh, ipasok natin si magnet, kapag pareha siyang positive charge, hindi siya nag-coconnect. Kumbaga, nagre-repel. No? Um, kumbaga, nire-repel nila yung each other. Hindi sila nag-dedicate. Pero kapag positive and negative, okay, so nag attract yung kanilang uh, in terms of the magnet. Okay? So, dahil magnet na yung pinag-usapan natin, let's go to magnetic force. The force exerted by a magnet on some metals and other metals. Now, another worked example, you're going to answer activity 3. Your task is to identify the types of non-contact forces shown in each demonstration. So, draw a line from each demonstration to the correct type of non-contact force described below. Okay, so this time, classify the forces below as contact or non-contact. List down the following forces in the word box under the correct type of force they belong to. Okay, so for D4, let's have, again, your KWL chart. So this time, you're going to fill up, okay, the what I learned uh, part. Okay, so... 
At the start of the lesson, you already answered what the th what are the things that you know and what are the things that you wonder or what do you want to know. And then for the last part, you're going to write what have you learned. Okay, and for your reflection and learning, you, you are going to have your emoji exit ticket. For your formative assessment, it's a Venn diagram construction. Okay, contact versus non-contact for force. Compare and contrast contact and non-contact forces. Write the given terms or phrases below under the correct heading in the Venn diagram below. Okay. Okay, so what are the difference or differences? Contact force, interaction between objects that touch. Friction, tension, and normal force. For non-contact force, interaction between objects from a distance. Electromagnetic force, electric force, gravity, and magnetic force. So what is their similarity? They are all types of forces. And with that, I would like to say thank you so much for being with me. So I hope uh, non-contact forces... Okay, the meaning of non-contact forces are clear to you and you can now distinguish the difference between contact and non-contact forces. At paano ba nagkakaroon ng contact forces at kailan naman nagkakaroon ng non-contact forces. So thank you for being with me for the third week of your lesson in Science 5 and I hope to see you again on the fourth week. Thank you so much and bye-bye!